Hello, no. Are you okay? Hello and welcome to Paranormal Overtones and this our first foray into the world of YouTube and video. First up, apologies, I have had a really severe flu this week so if you do hear any sniffles or heavy breathing I can only apologise. For the investigation itself though we took ourselves off to Davenham in Cheshire which was first noted in the Doomsday Book of 1086 and it is steeped in history. It's home to 14 grade 2 listed buildings but is probably now more noted as the birthplace of the long distance runner Paula Radcliffe. Now we weren't here to see Paula, we were here to explore. Um, firstly it was because of the whole ooh spooky graveyard thing but it was also a full moon that night. Um, we were rained off the first time we tried and then we went back a week later a little bit more successful. We also wanted to explore whether having a familial link could also in enhance any potential experience. So my great-grandmother was buried there, but so were my 10th through 13th time great-grandparents. So we're stepping from now back to the 80s, then back to the 1500s to see if having that connection helped at all. So let's go and find out. So on the day of what was supposed to be the first investigation, we went round, we took some pictures, we took some audio recordings too, and nothing really stood out except for one picture. And that's this picture right here. Now, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, have we actually captured something? So I sent it off at random to a few people and they all responded in similar ways so we had three people state that they thought they saw to the left of the frame a reverend or a vicar someone else said yeah looks like a person and someone else said it looked like a bald-headed dude with like a leather jacket or bomber jacket what it actually is is a gravestone um so just another instance of paradoilia just how the brain can play tricks on you after that we obviously went back we went over the recordings and found something else that was interesting as well so we're here at St Wilfrid's in Davenham if you're here with us then please come forward speak to us Whilst we're at the time when we re-listened to the recording, these clicks were actually quite easily replicated. It was starting to spit when we took the original recording. So stepping outside later in the evening whilst it was still raining, I was able to replicate it perfectly. It was unfortunately just drops of water hitting the microphone mounts on the top of the dictaphone. Slightly disappointing, but have a quick listen for yourselves. But that's enough debunking for now. Let's get on with the actual investigation that we went there for. So we're here at St Wilfrid's in Davenham. If anyone wants to communicate with us whilst we're here, you're more than welcome to. Just make yourself known to us. We're here to explore a couple of different theories about the afterlife and paranormal. Firstly, it's obviously we're here in a graveyard. A lot of people have ideas about graveyards and what they might contain. It's obviously your final resting places, so we want to be very sympathetic towards that. We're not here to cause any alarm or any disrespect to you. It's also a bit of an experiment to see if a familial connection can make any difference. So Dorothy Daniels, Nay Atherton, Nay Massey, if you want to come forward, uh, you are my great nan. I don't recall meeting you. I believe you passed when I was about 18 months old. Or further back in time is the Bostock family from Bostock Hall, which is literally a mile in that direction. Um, 
these are numbers you that are supposedly buried here from the 1500s. Um, hopefully the noise of the scramblers don't annoy you. Here he goes. Down to the roundabout. Drops down to second. Oh, drops down to first. Bold move. And away off towards Winsford he goes. Um, that's another job. Um, yeah, so to introduce myself, my name is Mike. This is Craig, the man that's silent behind the camera, that's just <laughs> not saying a word. No, not yet. Um, yeah, so if you do want to come forward, if you want to speak to us, if you want to scare us away, it's within your rights. Like I say, this is your final resting place. We're not here to cause any disrespect. We just want to see if there is anything after, really. So, feel free. say it's not eerie at all is it it's just no. whether it is because we've got the full moon i don't know yeah there is this stigma around grey while it's being scary at night but this isn't scary at all i feel very at home it's <laughs> macabre is that something I feel yeah very at home um, but I don't know. That, that's the other thing we're, we're testing i know a lot of people say that they're affected by the full moon um, with regards to the paranormal not just in their day-to-day -day lives so we do have a full moon it's the 24th of february 24th a little bit of uh, nice parity there <laughs> it's bookended by the 24th um, but yeah no um, considering the fact we've got this mist that keeps on rolling in it's yeah. currently one degree. A little bit of breath on show. There's nothing sinister or off-putting. It might be if we go over to that darker corner in the distance. What, you mean under the trees where the war graves are? Yeah. That might be a bit, a bit more, more sinister, because there'll be less light. really a good route down there was there it was a case of down and one through the wall wasn't it yeah trying not to slip over yeah, yeah we, right, right, we just collapsed this down and then uh, there's a bit nicked that's we never back <laughs> yeah, we are in a quiet village in cheshire but you never know there's g for around this already Catching it on video, so Thanks. you can learn from your mistakes. Appreciate it. You're welcome.
you'll notice I'm letting Mike go first, so that if he falls over, I just laugh. <laughs> yeah, so this, this is the second time we've attempted this. The last time we tried it was last week. Um, uh, we got rained off. It was torrential, absolutely torrential. It was lovely. So if there's anybody here who wants to speak to us, as we said before, I'm Mike, this is Craig, we're not here to cause any disrespect, any harm, any alarm, we just want to see if there is anyone here. If you want to talk to us, please feel free. If you don't, then you want to stay quiet. That's well within your rights to do so because it is a private resting place and we don't want to do to you. But if you do want to talk to us, please do so. There's lots of spikes. Mm. But there is a lot of Indian boys in the moment as well. In fact, we might try and go next day and just put it to red and give me a couple of purple spikes. So that's definitely one to listen back to. No, no, Dan, if you're here and you want to speak, we are looking at the family side of things, so obviously there could be a connection between me and you. There is a connection between me and you. Ironically as well, Walter, Walter Hopton, that's buried here. You also have ties to other people within this graveyard, as your ancestor married into the Bostock family. Um, and the Bostocks yourselves, I'm sorry, the two made to recount, but you would be starting off my ten times great-grandfather um, through to, I think it's thirteen times great-grandfather, are all listed as buried in Davenham. So if any of you are here, any of the Bastock family, and you want to come forward, I may speak slightly strangely to you. English has developed as a language in the last 500 years, but if you get the gist of what I'm saying, again, please feel free to come forward. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> well, give me like that one. <laughs> yeah, we're aiming for a literal hole in the wall. Just about to see what we're aiming for. Into the trees. <laughs> Really can't see. <laughs> oh, the big boggy patch. Oh. And that was the worst thing. I just felt something touch my leg, and it was actually a stick that I stood on. Just touched my leg. 
Yeah, there's lots of sticks around from here. <laughs> this area for the record is pitch black. And we are a bit closer to the road. Is a street light. Yeah, not a street light. If you come over to where I am, it's like shining. See. Oh yeah. I think there was like a little bulk headlight down one of the side stairs. Yes. Very possible. We'll have to go and check that out in a bit. I'm not listening back to potential EVPs right now is because my hands are frozen to the point where I can't even find my jacket pocket. So getting the speaker out of the back rack and going through that to get some form of clear noise is not going to happen right now. But they will get, if there's anything of interest, obviously they will get loaded into the video. But right now, I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> He says as he's blowing his nose yep. behind the camera. Oh yes. Yeah. Should we push on a little bit more and find out? Yep. Can you give me an idea of where I'm stepping out of the Uh well there's a row of headstones to your right, so go keep to your left. There's a to come in because it's quiet.
<laughs> There's no reason to react. We're down here. I'm sorry, but this is getting a little bit fucking concerned. We're getting into the realms of. Should we retrace our steps? What Start from the bench and then. Yes, that one would be very interesting to find. I don't recall seeing that in the daylight. fingers in the cold. Yeah, that's definitely it.
saw a flash of light over there, but it's not actually anything. If, I don't know whether Craig will be able to pick it up, it's actually just a shiny headstone. The moon's starting to move around really far a bit now. Yeah, a couple of instances of that. Makes it look eerier than it actually is. <coughs> yeah, the mist hasn't actually descended as much as it looked like it was going to at first. So, current time check, it's now 20 past 11. So, getting in towards the dark hour. I don't want to say the other term for it because given current surroundings, might be seen as a bit of a negative way of turning it. Um, yeah. So I think we get back to the car, get some formal sensation back in our fingers with the famous bad bruise. You're probably watching this on YouTube thinking, <laughs> While sipping your food. Let's, uh, yeah. Not wanting to sound crass, but let's see you on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Again, um, I'm just going to leave this here, just in case you do want to speak. So, this device, this little black thing, if you're here, and then you can speak, you can tap it, it'll make noise. It's these little silver things on the top. So, if you're speaking to those, then apparently we might be able to hear you. So, I'm just going to leave this on this bench. We're going to go for a bit of a wander around the church itself, and we'll come back and have a check in a minute. this light so much. There is a light there, up on the wall. There's a computer screen through there. Yeah, because it was a white light where you saw that blue it's light. A light shining against the wider surface. So you can see there's a blue light coming through the church window. Hey. It is. That was the only light that I could see. They could be giving off that white light that we saw. But it's completely the wrong angle. Yeah. Dude was fucking like debunking things <laughs> from the get go. <laughs> and we've literally like just. Yeah, I don't get it. Unexplainable light. It looks light around this corner. Yeah, the moon's starting to yeah. mourn um, for a rather fun ghost. Is there even like a binding sign or anything there for it to refract off? Because that's what it looks like. Lights there. Yeah, up there. No, I thought it was like a bulkhead light. Yeah, it's above you. No, that's like a floodlight. Yeah. I thought it was like a bulkhead light. Oh, oh yeah. No. Unless there was someone 
Do you want me to go and check for the cake? No, because you, with you and your bloody joints, you know, we're not. Oh well. It was, <laughs> it was down this face of the world. But there's nothing shiny. It's a bit, I mean, you can still see the screen. But there's nothing shiny on this side of the world. There's a light up there. What's that? Like? Unless it's on a timer. <laughs> I think we've got we've got to go back down there. We do. See if we still see it. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what it's on. Uh, garage. Yeah. Moon shifted round, it's lighter down here now. There is literally no light source. You've got the moon shining up there. sights and then somewhere a bit closer the camera might pick it up.
yeah, it's not reflecting any light now. It was definitely that from any angle. It was definitely that one that was reflecting the light. That's how you see what it's made of. Surface. Take this granite, where the top's on the edge. You guys probably can't see much, but that doesn't look sh shiny enough. It looks shiny in certain lights. It's not really reflecting with this light. That street light, it's got to be that street light that it's reflecting. Yeah. It can't be the moon because the moon's behind that tree <laughs> and it's too great of an angle. But it's weird that you just had the torch right up against it from the camera. And there was no reflection. No reflection. No reflection from my torch. You say you reflected from that angle. <laughs> And it looks shiny on the camera. But from the naked eye that's not shiny at all. You can see like the little bits of glistening in it. But it wouldn't light up like we were seeing it. Not necessarily paranormal or unexplainable, no. but very strange. Just odd. It's only from down there. I mean, it's been a while since I've done reflection at the GCSE level. If anyone a lot smarter than us could tell us from a wide angle of what would that be? So, call it 70 degrees. Yeah. So, 70 degrees coming in. Also, declining probably about 20 degrees to the refraction point then off again about 70 degrees and again probably going further down another 20 degrees I mean, that makes sense to me that bounce on a equal angle both ways I'm sorry I forgot my fucking set square <laughs> <laughs> Won't be the set sky. What was the uh, protractor? Protractor, yeah. He told you it's been a long time since <laughs> done refraction and reflection and shit in high school. It's only been twenty years since I did maths with a protractor. It just goes to show that you don't always learn a lot in high school. That's good for you in life. And there's your word for the day as well: protractor. Protractor. Which you guys can't see anything because it's just pitch black. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we'll see if we can't get a proper picture. Um, He's tried. He failed. <laughs> We've got a cool, like, moody shot of the church at like 11 o'clock at night, which looked like it was taken at 6 o'clock yeah. at night. So. It did, yeah. Quite impressive that you were able to do that. It's a shame that the ISO settings were stabilise another camera to get a nice night shot but um, yeah it's still very tranquil it's not airy at all um try some more call outs hmm? try some more call outs we'll try some more call outs in a second yeah um, the two things that have kind of unsettled or been a bit weird outside this grave um, obviously as it always does happened whilst we didn't have anything rolling so when we've gone back to the car we were having our brews um, it sounded like someone would you say sniffed yes definitely it was like a, yeah 
now this is a 20 mile an hour road on the outskirts of the village at With this no time of night, there's, there's yeah. no one around um wouldn't like to say whether or not it came from within the graveyard or from up the road but there are walls to sort of five five and a half feet on both sides you'd expect some form of echo and there was nothing um and then as we got all our shit back together coming back out of the car and the ground is sodden like i've got two pairs of socks on because of the cold right now and i can feel the moisture getting in through my shoes my own fault for wearing bands but um yeah, there always was, wear appropriate footwear yeah pro tip number one yeah um and thermal socks yeah but there was craig didn't hear it but i did as we were walking back up the path there was like a squelch to the right hand side could have been wildlife could have been nature could have been us could have been me dude it was about 10 foot away it wasn't like yeah, next to I, I didn't hear that my, my ears work I, I know <laughs> it was to the right hand side and it was about <laughs> six to ten foot away so. but again it, it could have been anything it could have been a rat could have been a frog toad squirrel pigeon pigeons are quiet that. now I'm going to so. say you're finally on sleep um, but yeah I think we'll uh, do a couple of call outs it's again tries to find his phone it's just Nearly about midnight, midnight. Yep. so if rumours are to be believed then we're just about to come into the time when the fun starts so let's go and find out <laughs> Hands cold, man. I'm roasting. <laughs> I was gonna put gloves on. I'm glad I didn't. Do you put the yacht? My brew was made before the last guy's gonna fucking pick you up. Oh wow! I'm sorry. Two minutes down the road. Two minutes of pure inconvenience. It's not even two minutes. Put your foot down. <laughs> it's thirty seconds. Yeah, it's thirty mile an hour road, Craig. Of course it is, Michael. Yes. Always do 30. You know, 30. <laughs> Give it up. Because it's that. It looks a bit live long and prosper for my life. Uh, it's better. So, yes, it's us pair again. Stood in the same spot. Um, not sure whether you've spoken to us or not already. You might have done, we've not listened back. So if you have, thank you so much for that. Um, but yeah, once again, calling out to anybody from my family specifically. So Dorothy, Walter, and members of the Bostock family, if you are here, please say hello. We're not here to hurt you, we're not here to discredit you, we're not here to disrespect you in any way. So, Please say hello. Is there any messages you might want to pass on? Is there anyone else here that might want to speak? Thank you. 
consistent with the traffic or no, I'm speaking now we're pushing orange. <laughs> Is there any sorry here, any spoiler that wants to speak? Pass a message. Confirm that you are still here. Even if it is in spirit form, in soul form, in energy form, is there anything you could tell us potentially? Would you like us to leave? Are we annoying you? Are we disturbing your eternal rest? If we are disturbing your eternal rest, if we're disturbing your final resting place, then you're going to have to make an audible sound, snip a twig, send one of the mini pigeons flying out of their nests, or show yourself to us. That would be one way to get us to go rather quickly. <laughs> if you're quite happy for us to be here, if you're quite happy for us to be calling out, asking for you to talk to us, again, talk to us, let us know that you're here. taste to say it's as quiet as the grove? No, I think it's pretty accurate at this point. consistent in volume to me. Yes. It kind of tapered upwards. So it's all a little bit strange. But I'll see this three to five minutes and then I'll save it and then listen back to it with crap cans on. Not the most CD or anything, you know, we've got an end <laughs> there at four minutes and fifty four but I don't know, like I say, there's nothing foreboding, uncomfortable, disconcerted in any way about here. Nope, nothing at all. But it's just like, it is cold, so my phone is currently tracking. Interestingly, my phone is tracking your five degrees. I'm going to say it feels warmer than it was before. Um, but when we were setting the trail cam up before, when we got out the car, mm. that showed what was it the first time? Minus, minus five seven. the first time. Minus oh, minus seven, seven the second, second time, yeah. Um, which, admittedly, when we pulled up in the car, it was one degree when I turned the ignition off. Yeah. So I can't see it being five degrees like the phone's saying right now. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a slight fault with that. Yeah. Um, but it's weird that the temperature keeps on peaking and dropping. Mm. I mean, it's what? That's not even ten foot lower than us. No. And we both said when we came round those graves, the temperature dropped. Yeah. And trying to think pragmatically, I can't 
think of a reason as to why that would be. No, not whatsoever. And you're, you're the skeptic, so what, oh, do you, no. what, what do you think? Just the way the world is these days. <laughs> it's hot one minute, cold another. Fucking global warming in a 10 fucking foot radius. Very much could be, you never know. It's, uh, so yeah, that, that's a little strange. Um, and that will go on its way. It'd be interesting to see if that sort of thing happens in other locations. That, yeah, especially if it is as soon as we start calling out as it was tonight. Yes. Because um, it was literally a couple of minutes and that was it. And it's not like a persistent cold. I mean, it's fucking freezing right now, don't get me wrong, I should have wore a thicker jacket but I was very conscious about You see, I'm the opposite of you right now, I'm quite hot. Yeah, but you're in like a fleece. Yeah, but my hands, my hands feel like they've been sat on an oven because they are so warm. So basically what you're trying to tell me is that the next purchase needs to be a fucking thermal camera because like my hands right now are... Have some heat. <laughs> Have some heat, mate. So your hands feel like hand temperature. Yeah, yeah mine don't. Um, I don't know. It, it's, it, it's, it's more disconcerting mm. that you aren't and like you've just gone to blow yeah. smoke. And I can't, can hardly see my breath anymore. Whereas I'm like constantly getting yeah. mist as I'm speaking and getting breath mist. Um, You'll know I'm not breathing out as much mist anymore because you can't see it going in front of the camera. <laughs> <coughs> so, slightly. Oh, that's um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't get that. My. We both. Since we had the boost on, you said immediately your hands felt warm. Mm. Mine, I've never, my body temperature's come up. But I keep on getting like swathes of cool, like around my midsection. Mm. Um, but my hands are just frozen. Like, absolutely fucking frozen. <laughs> like, the heaters are going on in the car on the way back, frozen. <laughs> My window's going open. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the weird reflecting non reflecting gravestone. Yeah. We've got the weird temperature drop. We've got the swells that I heard that you didn't, which we can't really say much about because you didn't hear it. Yeah, and I was only like, two feet behind him. I hear a sparrow hawk up in the distance, but I heard something before that. I thought I heard a rustle of leaves. Yeah. But there's no wind. No. There's another pigeon. <laughs> so there's a pigeon. Right on cue. shadow in my peripheral vision then as well. Um, like cat height, like a series of what there's nothing there. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of weird things, a couple of inexplicable things, but as for paranormal? No. I don't think we can say it actually was. Um, We've alluded to the fact that Graves is skeptic. When it comes to the paranormal, I am, I would refer to as chaotic neutral. Um, I believe there is something, but I'm not going to put my eggs all in one basket. So, that's why we kind of agreed to do it together because we've got the skepticism, but we've also got the willingness to acknowledge stuff. Um, so if it gets to the point where you see the camera drop, 
Yeah. And the sound of footsteps running away. But you know that something's really happened because that means that Craig's shat himself. Um, and you'll probably see another pair of feet going in hot pursuit after him in the form of me. Um, Either that or he's rolling around on the floor laughing at me because he's just managed to jump scare me. No, I think we make a pact here and now that there is no jump scaring. <laughs> no jump scaring. Um, well, no overt jump scaring. If it happens by accident, it happens. Yeah, I ha I'm not bringing spare clothes. No. I'm not changing my boxes. From us and from St Wilfrid's Church, I think that's it. I think there isn't really anything else here to explore tonight. So, from a very cold, very dark Cheshire, good night. Good night. Paranormal. Overcoming.